Hi, today we're doing a product spotlight on the BFH bumper line. First of all, BFH stands for Built for the Hammers. Uh, what that means is, is all these parts in the BFH line were designed to work at the hammers. Not only are they the most hardcore trails in the United States, they're some of my favorite trails. So uh, we initially designed this line to work well there, and we found that if they work well there, they typically work well just about anywhere. Uh, one of the things that uh, you come up against in, uh, at the hammers is ledges, steep climbs, steep walls, and big boulders. Uh, and typically to conquer these trails you have pretty good size uh, wheels and tires. So for a bumper to work well in these uh, conditions, it needs to have the best available approach angle and departure angle. And also the bumper itself can't interfere with the tires. So if a bumper came out beyond the frame here, as you can see, a 40 inch tire when turning would would get into that bumper and I've actually seen people break axles because their tires were stuffed into the bumper so that can't happen with this bumper. This bumper was also designed to take many aftermarket um, anti-sway bars as well as the factory anti-sway bar so this is a typical mounting spot for a uh, anti-sway bar on the uh, TJ Jake or LJ line. Uh, it's reserved uh, the bumper's cut around that so you can still run that. It's also notched around this in the back so you can run the factory one if you're still doing that. Uh, but we talked about approach angle. This BFH has the best approach angle you can have without cutting the frame, uh, mo relocating the steering box. Uh, and so for the bolt-on bumper, it's the best you can possibly get. We've gone a step beyond that though and taken anything that might potentially be an anchor and moved it into the same plane as the front of the bumper. So in other words, if this bumper was square and you came up against the ledge, you're going to run right into that ledge and it's going to stop you. Having a kind of a ramp, if you run up against a ledge, it's actually going to push you up until your tires catch. And you can see on this particular bumper that I've done that several times. But the shackles or the, or the shackle mounts or the D-ring mounts are actually in the same plane as a tube and the same plane as a bumper, and we'll show you in some other shots. If those came out in the front, typically like most bumpers do, uh, as you're trying to push yourself up the ledge, that would catch and, and, and act as an anchor. Uh, we've got several different stinger options, and the stinger was one of the uh, poison spider, spider innovations. It was originally designed to prevent endos, and the, the original stingers were taller than the hood so that if you rolled over, uh, it would potentially protect your radiator. So even if it might have smashed your hood, you could get off the trail because your radiator was okay. And we've got three lines for the guys that want a little more subdued look, with the, which is the, uh, the brawler line. They're all inch and three-quarter DOM tube, but this is a uh, inch and three-quarter 120 wall DOM brawler bar. Uh, we also have a trail stinger, which is a little bit taller, and we'll show you what that is. And we have the uh, comp stinger, which is the one that sticks up above the hood. Because we laser cut our tube, we have the ability to make some pretty crazy notches, and you, you can't really see it here, but we'll show you in some pictures that it's notched around the bumper, so the, bump, the tube itself actually kind of acts as a gusset. It wraps around the front of the bumper and over the top of the bumper, so it's really tough to bend these. Uh, and, but we do supply a sheet metal gusset uh, just to give it a little bit more strength and actually some functionality. We've actually seen people use this as a, uh, as a spot to attach uh, uh, some accessories, so a little bit more functionality. Uh, the D-ring mounts uh, are custom made for the BFH line. You're not going to find this on any other bumper. Uh, the BFH is also probably one of the most duplicated bumpers I've ever seen. Uh, a lot of people have tried. I don't think a lot of people know, understand the concept or the, 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 um, the engineering behind the design, so they haven't quite got it at 100%, uh, but this is the original. Uh, it is the most functional bumper, and I'll show you. Uh, this is a TJ version of it. We also have a JK version of, version of it and a CJ version, version of it and a YJ version of it. So I'll show you a couple of different models, show you how it fits on the JK and how it even improves um, the uh, approach angle on the JK beyond not having any bumper at all. The JK version of the BFH has all the same features and benefits as the TJ, YJ, CJ line, but we were actually do, able to do a little bit more of it because of the design of the Jeep. The steering box is a little further back, so that allowed us to actually cut the frame and move the bumper back on the uh, on the frame. We made it just enough room, or left just enough room to get a, most winches, or almost every winch that I know about, mounted to the bumper uh, without any issues or interference with the grill. Uh, but it also eliminates that big factory flange that comes on most JKs. So by taking that flange off, cutting the frame and moving it back, it's actually got a better approach angle than not having any bumper at all uh, on a factory JK. 
Uh, we also have an available skid plate for this version if you own a Rubicon and are using the electronic sway bar disconnect motor. That skid plate protects that motor. If you're not running that motor, you're, you're able to run it without a skid. You can cut off that factory uh, crash bar and it gives you probably another six inches of ground clearance but a much better approach angle. Uh, also, because the JKs generally are a little bit heavier, we've added some internal gusseting here. Uh, you can't see here, but we'll show you in some, some shots that uh, take some of the load of the winch and spread it out through the whole bumper so it kind of acts like a truss or a beam uh, without just uh, loading the, the top surface of the bumper. On all versions of the bumper, TJ, YJ, CJ, and the JK, we have a flange in the back that kind of stiffens up the back of the bumper. Uh, on the YJ, TJ, CJ version, the flange has been up because of the uh, steering box again. On the JK version, that flange is bent down, which acts actually add some rigidity to the back of the bumper. Uh, most of the uh, versions that have, have tried to uh, duplicate this don't have these features uh, and, and you don't realize how important they are until you actually put a pretty good load on this winch uh, and uh, see some deflections or actually ruin the bumper because they're not there. So a lot of thought has gone into this bumper. As simple as it looks, it's probably one of the most highly engineered <laughs> bumpers on the, uh, especially a stubby bumper on the market today. Everything we do at Poison Spider has got to function first. There's a reason that we're building it uh, because there's a, a need or a demand for it. And then, of course, it's got to look cool. I mean, we could just add a hunk of iron here and it would be pretty functional, but it wouldn't look nearly as cool as uh, the few little facets we put in here to, to add a little style. And every tube is a DOM, which is not standard in the industry. Most of them are welded seam. Uh, it has a better resistance to denting when you use the DOT, DOM tube. And the cut actually adds some gusting. So a lot of little features in these bumpers that you don't necessarily think about or even, even be aware of uh, if you're just shopping online. So I wanted to make sure that you knew that uh, there's a lot that goes into these. Uh, I mentioned on the uh, JK that you had an available skid for the uh, sway bar disconnect motor. On the TJ and the YJ version, you also have an available skid for the uh, steering box, which bolts right to the bottom of the, the BFH bumper. Each model year of the BFH bumper is available in four different configurations. Uh, the first is no bar at all. The second is with this uh, kind of a subtle bar. This is called our brawler bar. It's got the same lines as our trail stinger, only it's flattened out just high enough to protect the winch uh, and not too tall where if you have a space issue in your garage where you're worried about it not fitting in your garage, uh, this sticks out less than any of the three, uh, other three versions we have of the bars. Uh, the next bar we have available is the trail stinger size. This one is based off the original Poison Spider trail stinger, which kind of started this stinger craze 10 years ago. Uh, it's just tall enough that you can kind of see it over the top of your hood. Uh, it adds a little bit of protection. If you look from here to the top of the roll cage, you notice that in line, uh, if you roll over and hit this spot in the top of your cage, it wouldn't hit your hood or it wouldn't hit the top of your hood here. It might get the edges of your hood. And that was one of the original purposes of a stinger, not only prevent endos, but to uh, kind of protect your radiator. The third version we have of the stinger tube or the tubes is the, the comp stinger. This, of course, is much taller than the, the trail stinger. Same angle, same look, same inch and three quarter, 120 wall DOM, uh, just much taller. So if you've got an extreme build or you're, or you're playing in the big rocks, uh, this might be the version for you. All of them are, like I said, inch and three quarter, 120 wall DOM tubing, which is uh, kind of unusual in this industry that DOM is more dent resistant than the mild steel welded seam tubes. All of them come with uh, sheet metal gussets. All of them are notched to fit around the uh, front angle of the tube or the bumper, which adds a lot more strength than uh, just a regular gusset might add and, and, and a lot more strength than just welding on a, uh, a flat piece of tube to the front or the top of the bumper. So again, a lot of engineering, a lot of different options. So I hope that answers most of the questions you might have on the BFH bumper line. If it hasn't, please feel free to call one of our techs. They love to talk Jeep, so they'll help you pick the right BFH for your particular model year and the way you use your Jeep. So uh, they're very good at doing that and we love the phone call, so please don't hesitate to call. So to wrap it up, best approach angle, best engineered, lightest, uh, probably the most reasonably priced uh, front bumper, front stubby bumper on the market today.